Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best curved gaming monitors. Starting at number 5. Dell Curved Gaming. If you're looking for something on a budget, it's better to look for 16,9 monitors instead of ultra-wide monitors, as those tend to cost more, and the Dell S2722 DGM is a good option for a 16,9 monitor. It has a 1440p resolution like the Dell S3422 DWG, but you don't get the same immersive gaming experience as there's less horizontal screen space. Luckily, it has a slightly higher 165Hz max refresh rate and has the same FreeSync VRR support with GSENC compatibility, reducing screen tearing no matter which type of graphics card you have. Its main downside is that its response time is just okay across its entire refresh rate range, so there's visible blur with fast-moving objects. However, this is what you can expect from lower-cost displays. Its VA panel has a somewhat aggressive 1500R curve to help bring the edges within your field of vision, which is helpful because it has narrow viewing angles, so the edges would look washed out otherwise. It also displays deep blacks for a good dark room gaming experience, and its black uniformity isn't bad either. Coming at number 4. Dell Curved Gaming. If you still want to save money without getting something in the budget category, a lower mid-range option like the Dell S3422 DWG is a good alternative. It's different from the Gigabyte M32UC because it has an ultra-wide format with a 34-inch screen and 3440 by 1440 resolution, so images are less detailed, and it doesn't offer HDMI 2.1 bandwidth either. Its different size makes it a much cheaper alternative to the Dell Alienware AW3423DW with an LED backlit screen. It still offers great gaming performance, and the 1800R curve helps bring the edges more within your field of vision. It features a native 144Hz refresh rate with FreeSync VRR and GSWNC compatibility to reduce screen tearing. While it has visible smearing with fast-moving objects, the overall response time is still good. It also has a backlight strobing feature to reduce persistence blur. Still, unlike the Gigabyte, it doesn't work simultaneously with VRR and is only available in a limited refresh rate range. One advantage of this monitor over the Gigabyte is that it gets brighter in HDR to make some highlights stand out. At number 3. Gigabyte M32UC 32-inch. If you find the Samsung Odyssey Neo G8S 32BG85 too much out of your price range, consider getting a mid-range option like the Gigabyte M32UC. While it also has a 32-inch, 4K screen like the Samsung, there are a few differences in performance and features. It doesn't have mini LED backlighting or any local dimming feature, so it performs worse in dark rooms and doesn't get as bright either, but that's the trade-off for getting something cheaper. Another downside is that it has worse motion handling than the Samsung, with more smearing with fast-moving objects. However, it has a backlight strobing feature that works across a wide refresh rate range and simultaneously with VRR, which isn't something all monitors can do. Even though it's a step down in picture quality, it still offers great gaming performance. It has HDMI 2.1 bandwidth which makes it fully compatible with modern HDMI 2.1 graphics cards and consoles. Even though its 160Hz refresh rate is lower than the 240Hz on the Samsung, it's still high enough for most PC gamers, especially if your graphics card can't maintain high frame rates with 4K signals. Number 2 of my list Samsung 32-inch Odyssey if you don't want an ultra-wide monitor like the Dell Alienware AW3423DW, you can get some premium curved monitors with a 16 to 9 aspect ratio instead. One of those is the Samsung Odyssey Neo G8S32BG85, which is better than the Dell because it has a 32-inch screen, so there's less horizontal space to see your games, and it has worse picture quality because it doesn't have an OLED panel for the same deep blacks and vivid colors. It uses mini-LED backlighting and still looks good in dark rooms, 
as it has a decent local dimming feature and minimal blooming. On the plus side, it has a higher 240Hz refresh rate than the Dell, but if you don't need a monitor with such a high refresh rate, you can also consider the Samsung Odyssey Neo G7S32BG75. It has a 165Hz refresh rate but still performs similarly and costs less. The Neo G8 has a 4K resolution and HDMI 2.1 bandwidth, so it can take full advantage of modern graphics cards and gaming consoles. In terms of its gaming performance, it has an excellent response time at any refresh rate, resulting in minimal motion blur. It also has FreeSync VRR and GSVNC compatibility, so it reduces screen tearing with any source. And number 1. Alienware AW3423DW Curved The best curved gaming monitor we've tested is the Dell Alienware AW3423DW. It's a premium display that's excellent for gaming as it has a 175Hz refresh rate and a near instantaneous response time, meaning there's no blur trail behind fast-moving objects. It also has native GSVNC variable refresh rate VRR, support, which is great if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Even if you don't need something with native GSYNC support and have an AMD graphics card, the Dell Alienware AW3423DWF is a similar monitor that costs a bit less. Whichever model you get, both offer fantastic gaming performance and outstanding picture quality. They use a QD OLED panel that delivers perfect black levels in dark rooms and offers a wide range of colors thanks to its quantum dot technology, which makes highlights pop and colors look vivid. The 21 to 9 aspect ratio and 1800 arc curve also help deliver an immersive gaming experience as you can see more of your game simultaneously. You can also consider the cheaper MSI MEG 342C QD OLED which has the same QD OLED panel but doesn't get as bright as the AW3423DW. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.